Hi, my name is Ann Kalinowski. I'm a research analyst with Supply Chain Insights, and today I'm doing a video summary of the blog that I wrote, How Lazy, Entitled, Coddled Millennials Strengthen Supply Chains. So the inspiration for this blog came from a webinar that we just put on on the Millennial Voice in Supply Chain. And I'm a millennial myself, and I've managed millennials before, and so I just want to try to take some of the negative connotations that are associated with millennials and show you how they can actually be assets in your supply chain. So first, millennials are seen as lazy. They're seen as uh, employees who do not put in as many hours as some of the other employees and maybe don't work as hard. And to this, I would say this is actually more a reflection of millennials being efficient. They grew up with technology. They grew up being able to Google something and get the answer right away. And so this isn't them being lazy. This is them knowing that there's got to be a faster way to get things done. So they're more on the work, work smart, not work hard um, mindset. So instead of lazy, let's call it technologically efficient and they need to provide value, okay? Secondly, um, millennials are known as being entitled. And for this, you know, we've, we've heard of millennials getting trophies for just participating. I remember going to award ceremonies when I was in middle school and getting a ton of awards some of which I didn't feel like I deserved or I'd worked hard enough for. So this is just how we grew up and, and it's reflected in our need for um, advancement quickly in our careers and our need for taking on a lot of responsibility and, and challenge at work. And so to this I say, as supply chain leaders, we, we need this. Um, baby boomers are retiring, right? And so let's get these millennials into these roles then um, before the baby boomers are all gone. Let's, let's coach them, let's um, develop them in these roles that they want and use it to our advantage. So uh, instead of entitled, let's, let's say they're confident and they're eager to take on these important challenges, which is huge for supply chain. And then lastly, um, millennials are known as being coddled. Um, their parents maybe took care of too much stuff for them growing up, and so now they need kind of step-by-step, step, okay, what's my career path? You know, what? how exactly do I get this task done or this project done? And this one's a little tricky. I mean, as a manager, this can be very frustrating. Um, to have to put in that much work and attention to these millennials in order to, to get an output. But I found that when I manage millennials, if I just said, okay, here's what it looks like if you meet my expectations. Here's exceeds, here's excels. And if I, I really kind of prescribe for them, okay, this is exactly what you need to do to get you know, you know, these ratings. Um, they will excel, you know, they'll get that excel rating. They will achieve to this high level if, if you're prescriptive, if you give them the step-by-step. -step. Um, and I know it takes a lot of time and you're not gonna wanna do it, but it's important that you do and, and try, to, try to meet somewhere in the middle, right? Say, you know, I'm gonna start off giving you some step-by-steps, but see if you can figure out some of the next steps. But in my mind, it's worth it. Um, internships, you have kind of a time crunch, so there wasn't as much give and take, but it's, it, it was completely worth it to kind of give them this ongoing feedback and prescribe to them, here's what you need to do, because they'll do it, and they'll do it well. And this, to me, just kind of comes back around to their need to, um, to be efficient. So um, for millennials, I would say not lazy, entitled, and coddled, but technologically efficient. They need to provide value, confident, and eager to take on important challenges, and they need clear direction and feedback to more efficiently excel. So that's kind of my spin on millennials. Let me know if there's anything else that you would add. Feel free to comment on my blog or on this video. Thanks.